recently got a question about this video I posted earlier in the month about a model that I created for Student League, uh, one where the, you know the car is driving at full speed, one meter per second. And let's see what our friend here says. Kivo Chandler says, I would like to know what shape of graph you're looking for. Is there any reference material on the subject? So let's, uh, let's answer that tonight. So something to keep in mind is it's really important to think about the basics, right? Go back to your basics. And here I have a, a, an image that I found on the web. Uh, I used to, did a quick Google search and found these, um, this image showing several quote unquote parent functions. So think of, think, think of it as families of functions. Uh, so you have linear, quadratic, cubic, and you should know this from your elementary, or not elementary, but your high school days, right? So linear equations, uh, your quadratics, so x, x squared, right? Cubic is x to the third power. Absolute, meaning taking the absolute value of x gives you the different shape. Reciprocal, that's 1 over x. Uh, exponential, e to the x. Logarithmic, that's the log or natural log of x. The square root, which is actually what x to 1 half right one half power and then you have sine cosine and tangent functions down here now any of these are good for reward function shapes right it really depends what you're trying to do and i'm not going to say that i have the right answer it's really up to what you guys want to do but here's my approach so let's say i really want the car to go fast right so clearly i wanted to go one meter a second so if i have a smooth let's say um let's look at cubic right if i have a cubic equation x to the third power where x is speed right okay well you have a decent slope there right so if you remember your your gradient descent you you know you wanted to find a, a, a local maximum right so okay that's one way to do it but the thing to ask yourself, are there other functions here that have a greater slope so that you can get to that answer or get to that maximum value faster, right? Is the slope of the logarithmic sharper so that you can climb that hill faster, right? Or is it faster than the exponential, right? And then you have to ask yourself, well, at negative one, the slope isn't all that steep, but at one or at two even, it's even, it's, it's very steep. Right, so these are the kinds of questions you want to be thinking about, and I'm hoping this is a, a useful resource for you to to recall the function shapes that you can play with. Now, I've talked about this before. I'm a huge fan of uh, GeoGebra, and again, you can use any graphing calculator. This is free. It's on the web. I figure it's the easiest thing for people to use. And here, you can graph whatever you want. All right. And remember a few tricks, right? So uh, I'm going to walk through a few tricks here. So here's x squared, right? So if you want it, if x is speed, then this is pretty good, right? So speed in the student league is between 0 0.5 and 1. So you're really just focusing on this area right here, right? Um, and uh, that's, that's basically it. Now, look at this part here. It doesn't look all that steep, right? So let's remember our slope function, mx plus a. Uh, so I'm going to say m equals 1 for the slope. a equals, uh, let's say, 0 0.5. And I'm going to create a new function here that says mx plus a. Oops. Um, so check this out. You can use these as sliders, and it updates the graph automatically. Isn't that cool? I think that's super cool. So, oh, where did it go? 1.2 looked pretty good. So, suppose you're you're trying to get the speed to go fast, and here you are, right? Your your car is kind of stuck at 0 0.5, the slowest speed. Again, this is a, an approximation, but look, this slope from 0 0.5 to 1, it's almost it's basically 1.2, right? 1.2. Uh, it's not very steep. But what if you had a steeper function, right? Is there, let's go back to those, that family of uh, functions, right? There might be something steeper here, right? So this is where you need to play around. I'm not going to give you the answer, but uh, this is where you can play around and see if there is a, 
a better function for you, right? Maybe you do cubed, right? And now you can see that this is a little, this is steeper, right? So as you get closer to the one, it accelerates. And again, you can, you can try different, different values here, right? You can use the slider tool, like check this out, two X to the third grows a lot faster, right? So the gradient descent formula should be able to say, hey, if I go in this direction, I'm going to get a higher reward. This reward here for one is almost a two, right? This is a lot better than once, twice the reward for being at the max speed. So again, I'm not going to give you uh, the answer here. You got to figure this out. But by looking at these family of functions, you can kind of get some ideas on how to get the car to quickly learn to go to the maximum speed. Okay, that's the first part. The second part is, all right, well, you're probably saying, well, I not only do I have speed, but I also have steering direction, other things, right? How do I combine two different rewards? So suppose you have x squared here as your speed function, and I'm going to make another one, steering angle, right? It's going to be, uh, let's say, I'm going to make it the opposite direction, right? So I'm going to make x squared uh plus one. Oh wait not that way oops x squared plus one all right so this is a function where hey i want to make sure my steering is uh steering straight and not so much to the sides right so suppose you have a reward function for that right now you want to combine the steering reward with your speed reward right how do you do that? Do you add it? Do you subtract it? So this is where the 3D calculator comes in handy. So you can say, all right, well, I want to take my speed function, right, x squared, and I want to multiply that by my steering reward function, which was negative y squared. It's a little slow. I'm going to give it a second here. Plus 1. All right. Okay, is, is this what you expected to happen? Actually, let me make sure I, I got that right. Negative x squared plus one, yeah. So we're multiplying these two. So when you multiply these two, look what happens. This is the shape of your reward function, right? So, and we're again operating in the zero to one. Oops, let me not spin it. Uh, we're really operating in half, I guess x equals one half to one for speed. And let's just spin it around, see what that looks like. And if the steering angle is close to zero, uh, you get a low reward function. Right. So clearly this is not what we want. So we need to really take a look at this and understand what's happening. What is, instead of multiplying, what if you wanted to add it together, right? The reward function looks not like this. Now, again, is this, is this the shape? What does X mean? What does Y mean? So looking at the graphing calculator is going to really help you understand what happens as the reward function for speed, the reward function for steering angle, reward function, whatever it is you're including, how do those two interact? So I highly recommend you look at the graphing calculator as well. All right, well, that's it for tonight. Thank you. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hope this was helpful. Until next time. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click that like button if you want to see more of this content.